Persia has long been the symbol and cradle of mysticism, wisdom, and enlightenment. So it has nurtured numerous famous names in these areas. One of these well-known people is His Excellency Maulana Jalaluddin Muhammad Balkhi, also known as Rumi or Molavi. As Persian kingdoms stretched so far and included many regions in the world, people were able to benefit from Rumi in his many journeys, calling him the Lord. In a sense, he can be considered a poet, scholar, and philosopher who is the symbol of religious openness, as in his poems he continuously endeavors to free himself and others from shackles of rigid and inflexible rules of this world. As a poet, he always was a proponent of forsaken values such as friendship, love, loyalty, truth, and covenant. Therefore, it may be claimed that Rumi's poems can compete and even surpass their Western counterparts. It seems that this famous poet and scholar had long known life and philosophy of the West. Consequently, he is highly well known and more popular than other Persian poets by Western world. He has depicted philosophical and moral concepts with language of love and freedom. Rumi is not just a poet, scholar and philosopher. He is a treasure which is timeless. Nowadays, Rumi's popularity among Western readers of literature has reached a level that they take refuge to his poems for retrospection, life, and freeing themselves from ambiguity and anxiety of today's life to arrive to peace and serenity within. Rumi's life Rumi's birthplace and life was in what is now parts of Iran, Afghanistan, Tajikistan, and Turkey which were mostly under Persian kingdom in those days. As a result, Rumi's works are translated in these countries as well and are truly popular. Rumi has become a treasure for countries of Iran, Afghanistan, Tajikistan and Turkey. His influence, thoughts and culture are clearly observed in these regions. His distinctive vision of the world is laid on the foundation of the idea that all things are manifestation of pure and eternal love, no matter what shape, race or religion they have. In Turkey, Rumi is considered beyond a poet and many praise him as a lord. Sultan Walad, his eldest son and Olovva Arafa Chalbi, his grandson, each founded a separate school of thought from Rumi and called them Mawlaviyya Tariqa. His father was Muhammad ibn Hussein Khatibi, who was mainly called Bahauddin or Sultan al Ulama, for his exceptional knowledge and character. Bahauddin left Balkh in his youth and on his pilgrimage to Mecca for Hajj in the city of Nishapur met Sheikh Attar. Jalaluddin Rumi was a child back then and received admiration and a version of Asrar Name from Attar Nishapuri. Rumi kept this book by his side all the time. The main reason for Bahauddin and his family's immigration from Balkh was his disagreement with Khwarazmian dynasty ruler of that time and the pressure from the government. In addition, Mongols' invasion of Persia, massacring people and looting their lands threatened the lives of scholars and poets. During these times, Alauddin Kaykobad Seljuk from Kunia invited Bahauddin to his hometown. Rumi was 13 years old then. After a long journey through many cities, Bahauddin and his entourage finally settled in Kunia. After Bahauddin's death in Kunia and with his followers' request, Rumi, now a 25-year-old man, succeeded his father and started teaching knowledge and Irfan concepts. Two years later, he embarked on his first journey to Sham or Levant. Rumi also went to Halab after leaving Sham and continued his teachings of philosophy and mysticism. Rumi's romantic 
and passionate description of Sham and Damascus is inferred as an evidence of him meeting Shams Tabrizi for the first time in these cities. Rumi met Shams Tabrizi in 642 Hijri when he was 38 years old and this meeting deeply impacted his life. Preceding that, he made great efforts in educating himself and his students in the fields of mysticism. But Shams Tabrizi opened his eyes to fresh new perspectives. There are many stories of Rumi's first meeting with Shams, but what is consistent in all of them is influence of Shams Tabrizi's words on Rumi's soul. Rumi had spent all his life studying before meeting Shams. Shams got Rumi to have revelations, and in his own words, he learned that everything there is, is within me. Rumi's love toward Shams Tabrizi and his companionships with him infuriated Rumi's followers and fans. Shams Tabrizi lived quite differently from scholars in his own time, and in the eyes of society, he was a bacchanal man concerned only with pleasures of flesh and continuously was called a sorcerer and made fun of by Rumi's followers. In the end, Shams Tabrizi immigrated to Damascus from Cunha. Rumi's companionship with Shams only lasted 16 months and he became depressed and anguished after Shams left. Seeing this considerable change in behavior and Rumi's indifference toward themselves, his followers resented what they had done and sought his forgiveness. He finally forgave them and sent his son and 20 of his followers to Damascus to bring Shams back. Shams, who had spent 15 months in Damascus, accepted Rumi's invitation and returned to Cunha. But this return was short-lived as the situation had worsened and this time he left Cunha for good and left no trace of himself. Between 645 to 647 Hijri, Rumi traveled to Damascus four times and stayed there for months in search of Shams, but found no clues of Shams' whereabouts. He finally returned to Cunha and stayed there until his death. Masnavi Manavi, or spiritual couplets, and Divan Shams Tabrizi are two masterpieces by Rumi which became poems after his separation from Shams. And comparing these works with the one written before their encounter, called Majales Sabaya, clearly demonstrates the impact Shams had on him. In our literature, Rumi and Shams' story have been the foundation for creation of exemplary works for long times. Rumi passed away because of high fever and sickness at the age of 66. His family and descendants were by his bed during his last moments of life. And after his death, people of Cunha, from Muslims to Christians and Jews, mourned his passing away for 40 days. Rumi excelled in Islamic learnings and knowledge as well. He is also unique in his expressions of ideas which are quite close to Western existentialism. Rumi is not just a poet, he's a treasure which is timeless.